So, when you see a person or anyone who is doing wrong, better is to forget about it. Or if you don't forget, then you should write to me. Even if you don't do that, better go and talk to that person on his face, that I think this is not right. But if you write to me, it can be solved, the problem can be solved. So now you have one Mr. X as your leader, or anybody here who is coming, say, from uh, New Zealand, or someone from outside. Immediately you should find out, are you critical of him? What are you looking at that person? What are you trying to find out about that person? If you are critical, then know that you can never progress. You should be critical about yourself, not about others. Know that you are most imperfect, that's the best way. Like we had a child about nine year old and he was extremely sly time and uh, he was talking ill like this of this person to that person and he would go and just uh, jump onto someone uh, and hit someone secretly, not openly. So I called the child and I asked him, what do you think of yourself? Do you think you are the most perfect person? He said, yes, I do. I said, that's it, it's finished. Such a person cannot even. So when you try to find faults with others, know that we have too many faults ourselves. Not to feel guilty, of course, that point is there. You should never feel guilty about it. If you have faults, just see what faults do I have, how will I correct, what chakras I am catching. Instead of seeing the chakras of others, if you see your own, then you will become purified, you will be very clean, you will be wonderful, everything will be fine. But if you cannot see your own faults, that means you haven't yet got your Self-realization. Self-realization means to know about yourself. And this ta last time I did say all these things uh, here in Perth and also otherwise, that to talk about somebody like that, to spread stories, ladies especially should be careful because they are on the left. They have to be very, very careful that they start judging others. They think they are perfect, they judge, they tell their husband, then husband tells another husband, then husband tells his wife, his friends. You have to be extremely wise and sensible women. If you are not sensible, this will spread like a disease. In Sahaja Yoga, this is one of the diseases I dread, is what Christ has called murmuring souls. He said, beware of the murmuring souls. Leaders are also afraid to tell you something. If they tell you something, immediately you start saying, Oh, Mother said so, he is saying so. Whatever the leader is saying, you must listen to him, must obey him, ask him what, uh, what, is, what does he mean by saying this, what is it. Now in case you find something wrong with the leader, you are all free to write to me and I will definitely go into it. For example, Stephen wrote to me about someone and I went into this, inquired and found out what was the thing. See, so there's no harm in finding out about someone uh, some lady wrote to me also and I found it. So, but unnecessarily paying attention to another person is not a good thing. Paying attention to yourself and looking all the good points of another person, of helping another person. That's how we would be collective, we'll be growing faster and we'll be enjoying ourselves. Also, as I told you, that don't talk ill of each other on the back. It's a very bad habit. That's how you will catch on boots and you will become extremely negative. Any such thought comes into your mind, just stop it. It's a very, it's a very nasty disease, you see, that spreads. So it makes you, it's so sickening, you know, when I hear about somebody who talks ill of someone, it's extremely sickening because it's not uh, being a, a human. You see, in the animal, there's one animal called hyena, and they say this hyena is like that. It comes slowly and steals uh, a child or anything. It's a very uh, sly type of an animal. And such a per person we call as hyena in India, such a person is called as a hyena. And it's regarded as a very um, low type of a personality. They talk like this. In Sahaja Yoga, it doesn't behave. 
no such yogi should talk ill about each other, nor should they discuss each other, never. Now somebody does that, you must immediately say, no, please, I don't want to hear. Please don't tell me. This is not a very good thing. The politicians do like that, but not a Sajogis. Sajogis should not do. Because, you see, you are great people, you are yogis. Do you know how a yogi becomes uh, a realized soul in the normal way? The other day I was reading a book about Upanishadas. <laughs> One of them was today, only I saw it in the morning time when I got up. There was written about a yogi. That you have to really starve yourself for so many days. Then you have to do Shirshasana. With that you have to do Pranayama. Then you have to uh, get up four o'clock in the morning and take your bath and then sit down for dhyana. And for five hours you must sit for your dhyana. After that you have to do pranayama. That's also special style. It's not easy for a normal person to do that. Is Till you say sixteen, you raise your uh, left side, uh, take the prana through your... I mean you breathe through your nostril, left one. Now sixty-four you say keep it here, uh, and then Rechaka, you do the taking it out thirty-two times. Can you imagine? This you have to do hundred and eight times every day. Minimum. This is the minimum. Now there are so many exercises, if I tell you that, you'll be shocked. So, like you have to stand and suddenly jump and put your both the feet five feet apart, imagine. <laughs> then turn round to clear your nadis, you see? You have to turn round and put yourself on the left side. Now on the left side you put yourself and it's quite a big thing that they have described. But in short, it's a stretching exercise and you put your hand on the left side and go down, stretch yourself. Again go back to normal, again jump and go five feet apart. Then put on the right side. Nadi cleansing is this way. But uh, there are so many other described, you see, they are so horrible. He said ordinary exercise is for ordinary people, but for a person who wants to achieve yoga, he has to do all these horrible exercises, or I don't know, I mean by that time all your body will be broken the way it is, or you will in any case get moksha, you see. <laughs> it's like that. But what I'm trying to tell you is this, that now you've got everything simple, easy, this thing. But in a subtle way, still all these nonsensical things are sticking on. And even if you are in the boat now, still it is there and they are creating a heavy weight. And this heavy weight can really take you down again. And when you go down after a certain height, you go down very fast. So many people we have thrown out of Sahaja Yoga, so many have gone out of Sahaja Yoga, so many have come into Sahaja Yoga. Now the people who have come in the beginning uh, are excused for some time and also they see you, how you behave, it's very important. So first thing we must know that we are people who are Sajogi, special type of people, specially blessed and we have so many privileges, so we have to be extremely dignified. I've seen people just will laugh for nothing at all. In a group you are there, they just start laughing. There's no need to laugh, but they'll just start laughing. Even if I am sitting, they'll just go on chatting and talking and see no sense at all. But if your guru is sitting there, you have to keep quiet, you have to be humble, you have to have awe. All these things are important which we have to gradually learn. Because you have never had a proper training about spiritual life. You see what these churches or you can say these temples that you have seen or anything else that you have got those. You see, I have not been real uh, masters to tell you how to behave, how to uh, address, how to be there. So now gradually you should see for yourself that you have to grow and grow very fast. And for that you have to remember we must need our introspection to see, where am I, now what am I doing, 
Ah, now the anger is coming. As soon as the anger starts coming, go and stand before your mirror and say, now come along, let's get angry. You face yourself all the time and it will help, not the others. Now I have to tell you that whenever you find such people coming up, they will form a group. Then a group can become bigger or absolutely small, depending on you. You have to just say, Mother has said not to listen a word against anyone, just not to listen. And in the beginning, of course, it is quite a lot has to be tolerated. Like uh, I've seen, if you see the letters written to me in the beginning of Sahaja Yoga, they are so maddening. This person talking ill about that, that person talking ill about that, and anybody would be mad to read all that. So I never read them. All these letters I used to just burn out. But luckily now these people have become extremely sensible, they understand their responsibility, they have become very, very beautiful people, very understanding, and the love that they have for each other is very interesting. Only in love you can know about others, not in hatred. If you hate someone, how will you know about that person, the beauty of that person? So then you start seeing the beauty of that person and you start enjoying that person. This is what Sahaja Yoga is. So I would like you to see that you, you train your children in such a manner that they feel their responsibilities as such. Thank you.